Hello and welcome to the part number 48 of the Node Editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Křopala from BlenderFreak.com and today in this part we are going to finish the correct edge notification changed or inputs and we will also finish the output evaluation so it actually works properly as it should. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. To tackle the issue with the deleted edges and notifications, first let's go ahead to the node graphics view itself and let's find a function which we are actually calling when we cut intersecting edges. We got edge remove here. Also when we press delete, we are calling delete selected, which is right below here. And we are also again calling edge.remove. That means that when we go to the edge remove, probably there could be some exception here, I guess. However, let it be the same how it is for now. And let's try to wrap this code by first storing the old sockets we were using. And that's going to be self.start socket and self end socket. Then we are going to remove the edge as usual and after that we should notify nodes from old sockets. So for each socket in old sockets if socket and socket the node so if these two variables exist that means we can access the node in the socket we can try to say socket node on edge connection changed with this edge, that means self. And we can also do the same for the inputs. So if socket dot is input, we can say socket dot node dot on input changed edge like this. And we should probably be able now to have the notifications for the operations. So here is input, here is going to be add and here is going to be output. Once I connect it, we got a crash here. Yes, definitely, because we should pass self and not this one here. Anyways, let's try to put everything into try, except exception se and dump exception like this from note editor.utils import dump exception and let's go back to the remove that's here and let's try it again input add and output connect these together now when i do delete this we should get add on edge connection changed and also the calc node input changed. Let's try it again. I'm going again delete this. Select this one and delete it. And we get the notifications here, which is perfect. Here probably the evaluation triggered again. However, we don't care at this point of time. Let's delete this again and let's try the cut operation. And we got input changed and edge connection changed on add and even on the input. So perfect, the notifications work. And for now let's try to focus on this single input node to fix it to be working properly. Let's go ahead to the input here. And for now we are just uh, overriding the calc node eval function, which is here. So that's okay. However, we can change this eval implementation for the input. So let's try to do that first. So define eval implementation. And first of all, we are going to retrieve the u underscore like unsafe value and that's going to be self.content.edit.text like this. 
To convert it to the safe value, we will definitely do conversion to integer of the unsafe value, like this. If everything goes OK, we can say self.value equals to safe value. Then at the end, we should definitely hear mark dirty, that's going to be false. And also this is going to be false, mark invalid. OK, we should definitely do these two functions. And I'm not sure if they should be actually here even. So let's go to the input and just paste them here like this mark it dirty false and invalid also false however we should also mark all the descendants invalid to be false because we don't know if they are false anymore but definitely we do know that they are going to be dirty so self mark descendants dirty like this and we can return self.value. So let's try that. I will put the input value here. On input changed, it should actually evaluate correctly. And when I press A, for example, then you can see we got an exception, which is value error exception, invalid literal for whatever, when we are trying to int the value with A and that's not possible. And it would be awesome to see at least what's happening here in the node editor. Let's go back here in the calculator node base. And if some exception happens, we can mark it as invalid and we can also access the graphical node and set tooltip, for example. So let's convert our exception to a string and print it out as a tooltip. Also, just for that, I'm going to here, because if everything is OK, I should definitely set the tooltip to be empty again. So let's try that. Put an input there. And I should be able to see invalid later for int with base 10. And as is not able to be converted to the integer, which is perfect. I don't like these exceptions here. Let's go back here and try to accept value error as E. And in this case, we will also again mark it as invalid. We will also say self gr node tooltip like this. However, we are not going to dump the exception into the console because we don't need that. However, still, if this happens, we should probably mark all the descendants dirty. And now you can see that we are just using functions like mark descendants dirty or children or itself dirty or invalid, which is perfectly working and it's providing a perfect API for us or for the user to implement his own logic or behavior of the node editor evaluations. So I'm kind of happy with that. On input changed, we got an exception here. That's right. However, let's try to add an output, connect these together. Let's try to eval. Nothing is changing because we should go to the eval implementation, at least for at let's define eval implementation self dot mark invalid to be false and also self mark dirty to be false and return one two three for now the same should go probably for the output so define eval implementation and return one two 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 three and let's copy these two functions here also like this. Let's try that again. Input at output. Yeah. Now it marked. And when I change the input, all of this is being invalidated. However, if I do eval on it, 
it's OK again. So let's change this to A, which is an error. We got the exception written out here and all of the rest of the note is being dirtied. So this one works. That's perfect. Let's have a look how the evaluation for the output should look like. And in the first place, uh, we should definitely ask for the input. So the input node could be something like self.getInput and we can ask for the first one. And this would be really awesome and handy function to have. So let's copy this and let's try to put it somewhere. And the correct place, I guess, would be in the node node here when we are traversing nodes function. So just right here, we could define or we should define a new function, get input self and index equals to zero like this. And in this case, that means for us again in the try, edge is going to be self dot inputs index those edges and let's ask for the first one then we can retrieve the socket from the edge so that's going to be edge dot get other socket self dot inputs index like this and return socket dot node except index error because we can actually try to retrieve input which isn't there on the node. So in this case we can print exception trying to get input but none is attached to self. Perfect. Return none. Otherwise in any other case except exception se and we can dump exception e and return none. So this way we can retrieve one single input. However, it would be nice to get all of the inputs, for example. So let's try to define these functions also. Get inputs, that's going to be self and index by default is going to be zero. Inputs, empty list and for each edge in self dot inputs index edges other socket is going to be edge dot get other socket from self dot inputs index and ins dot append other socket dot node and we can return the ins however I won't write it now in the try except block and I hope it will not bite me back in the ass later. So define get get outputs and basically it's going to be almost the same. So let's copy everything, paste it here. This is going to be called outs like this and instead of inputs we will pass outputs like this and this should be working and this way we should be able to retrieve the inputs and outputs. Perfect. Let me close the node and go back to our output which is here. So first of all let's retrieve the input node. So if not input node that means if we were not able to retrieve the input, we can mark self as invalid. Self.mark invalid and just return like this. Perfect. Otherwise, if everything is OK, we can ask the input node for evaluation and we can retrieve the value. We will definitely, if everything is OK, we will definitely say that content dot label dot set text percentage d with a value like this and make sure that it's not marked invalid nor dirty 
and we can set up the gr node dot set tooltip make it empty and for the evaluation implementation we should always return the value however we are not connecting the outputs anywhere else so in this case it actually doesn't matter just to have peace on my mind i will just leave it here okay and let's try the output node and now it should be definitely working at least with the input here so we got one and it has been evaluated and it returned from cached input value perfect when i type two three five for a this is dirty and is not being revalidated which is currently correct behavior i guess however let's try to do add node here and if i connect it here is a problem so what actually happened self eval implementation in calc node base and output was trying to convert the percentage d of the value and that's type error exception a number is required not non-type that means we should handle if the value here is none so in our case if not val we can say self dot mark invalid and return self dot gr node dot set tooltip input is not a number perfect and in this case we should say input is not connected so let's try that again i will create input and output when i connect it perfect 12 and try to eval we got 12 perfect now we should have input is not connected that's right and if i try to connect it again now it should be input is not a number because we are not passing anything or we are actually passing none from the input node so this looks like it is working now it has been deleted and if i evaluate again it's two perfect so for the output node this should be enough to work however if we go to the input and we evaluate implementation and we set the tooltip to be empty so everything is okay we can try to call self.eval children like this and let's try it again input output connect them together nope like this perfect and i set it or write any number here and even the error this is dirty and this is still working so that looks like perfectly working code for me great so let's close the input and let's close the output here and in the next part let's focus on the operations so for now, I thank you for watching and have a nice day.